All right, we're going to start by calculating some discounts, tips, and interest rates. Okay, so if we are going to calculate a discount, let's say we have an iPad Pro, and that iPad costs $800, uh, but we have a discount that we get 15% off that price. So we're really looking to find 15% of this $800 that the iPad costs. Now, if we're trying to find 15% of $800, we need to think of some ways, some different ways to write that 15%. So we're thinking about our representations of portions, or our portions webs that we've been working on. So 15% is also written as 15 hundredths, or 15 over 100. Now, the decimal version is going to be probably the easiest for us to work with um, because we're going to be able to use a calculator on this. And you can do this either way, but we can use a calculator. So we're going to use that decimal. And this word of means that we multiply. If we remember back to when we started multiplying fractions and multiplying decimals, we were always trying to find part of another part. Well, we're trying to find 15%, which is part of $800. So we're going to take that 15% or 15 hundredths, that's how we say that decimal, and we're going to multiply it by 800. So this is what it would look like in our calculator. We would have 0 0.15 times 800 and we get $120. Now, that looks like our answer, but let's think about it. If we are getting 15% off, could $120 be our total price at the end? That's a lot of a discount. So instead of saying that this is our final answer, we have to remember that that's the part we get off. That's the amount that we get to take away from the price. So really, that's our discount. So we get to take 800 and subtract 120. So my price, my sale price, is $680 once I take my 15% off. Now there's another way that you could do this. If you didn't want to take that extra step, um, I know that I get 15% off. So what percent does that leave me to pay? If I have 15% off, I have to pay 85%. So if I wanted to do this a different way, I could do 85% of $800 because 85% is the percent I'm actually going to pay. So if I did that instead, let's see if we get the same answer. I have 0 0.85 for my 85%, and if I multiply that by 800, I get $680. And hey, that's what I got before. It's 680, there we go. So there's two different ways you can do it. Either one is just fine. Just think about, make sure you're thinking about um, which one of those is the discount and what you actually are supposed to be paying. All right, now, calculating tips. So if you go to a restaurant, um, servers make money based on your tips. That's where most of their salary is going to come from. They don't get paid very much. So we have to remember that we need to tip them. So if our bill is $56.75 and we want to tip our server 20%, they were a fantastic server, they, did, they were very attentive, they brought us everything we needed, um, we want to make sure we tip them 20%. So we have to figure out what our bill would be if we actually tip them that 20%. So first of all, we need to find 20% of $56.75. Well, 
Again, this of means to multiply, so we're going to take 20%. And remember, 20% can be written as 2 tenths, 2 tenths, 20 hundredths. Any of these, um, you can use as your 20%. You could also do this with dust or with fractions if you are more comfortable using fractions, but again, you're going to be able to use a calculator on this. So we're going to do two tenths times fifty six dollars and seventy five cents. So two tenths times fifty six dollars seventy five cents. So we get $11.35. So that's 20% of our bill. That means we have to pay that in addition to the $56.75. So now we're going to take our $56.75 and add $11.35 to see what the total is going to be. So we get 10, 11, 8, 6. So our total is $68.10 because we are adding that 20% on to our bill. All right, and now calculating interest. So Interest comes in when you are working with banks or even um, taking out loans for college. But let's say we're talking about a savings account. So the amount that we put into our savings account on day one is $300. And our interest rate is 6% annually. That means every year we earn 6% of what we save. So we need to figure out our amount in our savings after one year. So again, we're finding 6% of $300. So we're going to write 6% as a decimal, and 6% is 6 one hundredths. So our decimal would be the 6 in the hundredth spot, so 0 0.06, 6 hundredths. So after one year, if we've earned 6%, we need to take 6% and multiply it by $300. And let's see what we get. So 0 0.06, oops, that's not it, 0 0.06, there we go, times 300. And we get $18. So we're going to earn $18 that first year. So then how much do we have total after we've earned that $18? So we have 300 dollars plus eighteen dollars so our total after one year is three hundred eighteen dollars after one year